Hey guys, how's it going? You know who it is. It's Goose Chronicles. As always, we're playing some Sky Wars, guys. Come on, do I have to say it every time? <laughs> now, I started the camera a little bit late on this one. I thought I hit the record button when it first started, but for some reason it didn't uh, It didn't start recording. I don't know what it was. Uh, again, this isn't a live commentary, but don't worry. I'm going to be doing some of those soon, guys. All right. So, now this guy... Right off the bat, kind of made a mistake. He, he was a little too eager. Um, and a lot of people think, oh, like I, I have a, a water supply back there that I can just climb up if someone, yeah, well, this happens. You know what I mean? You got to be careful. You can't just throw down a water supply, uh, a ladder, a water ladder, as some people like to call it, and then just not do anything. It's, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. All right, so here we go. Getting that wood. You guys know what it is. Them resources. Now, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit right here to fast forward so you guys don't have to watch the painstaking process of me getting all this dirt off the ground. Boom, look at that. All the dirt is gone. <laughs> Bam, and the dirt is gone. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But um, <laughs> uh, Yeah, all right. So here we go. We're going to try and head across now to get this guy. Um, he already started building a little bridge across, uh, and I was like, you know what, might as well come over this way and grab this chest. Now, the reason why I'm not too worried about snowballs is because this guy, while I was digging the dirt, for some reason, he thought it was a great idea to throw some snowballs at me. I don't know why he thought that, but he, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. But, uh, this guy makes the same mistake that that last guy made in, uh, my previous, uh, Walls Can't Protect You video. Just watch this. This guy makes a similar mistake. He tries to wall himself in, and I'll show you another reason why walling yourself in is not a very good idea. So I'm gonna wait for this guy to try and, to, I guess, try and run away. He knows I'm coming. He knows that there's no way he's gonna stop me from getting over to him. So he's like, you know what, I'm just gonna wall myself in. Now... This is another great example of why walling doesn't work. Um, <laughs> that's why walling yourself in is not the greatest idea. And then look at this. Another guy. Bam. Look at that. So we already, we already got a bunch of guys down. We're doing pretty well. Um, got to be careful. I almost killed myself. So now I got to get up here, and then boom, lava right there. That was pretty. <laughs> when I was playing it, I saw that it freaked me out. So now there's already pathway built. I don't have to worry too much about building pathways and stuff or getting more resources. So I just decided to say screw it and just run across and get to this last guy. I know uh, you can sneak around that edge, but I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to don't want to risk it. You know what I mean? All right. So now I'm gonna get some more dirt. Um, even though I have a lot of resources, I don't know why. But, bam, and the dirt is gone. Bam, the dirt is gone. <laughs> oh, God, that's, that's just a pretty stupid joke, but whatever. All right, so let's go. Now, we got another chest on our left, and we got this guy. Um, now, while I was building, getting some dirt off, I'm pretty sure this guy was throwing snowballs at me, too. So, yet again, I get to uh, get over here to get this. Right, got some good stuff in here. Not necessarily armor, but I got some stuff that could be useful. Obsidian is kind of useful. If you're going to wall yourself in, do it with obsidian. It's going to take the guy forever to get to you. I don't think you can even get to someone with an obsidian uh, wall around you because you can't break it. I don't even think you can break it with any type of pickaxe. And it's going to take them forever to do it. Um, and you can kind of, I guess, dig your way out, if you know what I mean. You can you can dig straight down, throw a water block, water block underneath uh, underneath the thing, and climb back up on the other side, surprise them, and kill them. That would be a cool video. If, if someone did that, that would be a really cool way to wall yourself in and win. But here we go. Now this trick I'm doing right here is called the water trick. It's kind of like a bait attack for these guys. Um, now what's going to happen is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to... This guy thinks he's, I'm going to drop down and kill him, but what I'm really doing is I'm just going to drop some lava down on him. And what he's going to do is he's going to have to get out of here. Um, 
so that means that guess what what's the quickest way to get out of here you see those water things he's gonna try and swim across the swim across the water um, but it's not always the smartest thing to do because as as you guys are gonna see it's a trick I'm setting it up and I knew he was gonna do that so as you can see he obviously takes the bait and it's easy as this. This is a great trick. I'm really going to start using it a lot more. You just take all the water away. This nice guy, this guy's not getting anywhere. You just got to be careful that he doesn't try and throw a water block up like he just tried. And the water's too low now. There's no way he's getting up. And even if they do throw a water block down, you can always drop lava on it. It's going to just take care of the problem. But thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this and you aren't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And send this around to some of your friends if you think you'll like it. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. See you later.